Well, you certainly don't have to drive very far to see it. Road construction all oh. over the place. Now, some projects will take years, others will take months. Pittsburgh's Action News 4 reporter Shannon Perrine tonight with what you need to know. No one is immune from road construction. It's in the north, south, east, and west. The signs are already up, and patience is already wearing thin. To the north, construction means the northbound lanes of Route 8 between Krebs Drive and Applewood Drive in Richland Township will be reduced to one lane through August 1st. To the south, Jefferson Hills Route 51 between the Elizabeth Bridge and Coal Valley Road. Overnight lane closures, and that will continue through the Christmas shopping season. Veteran drivers say there's no reason to panic. No, not really. If you know the area, I mean, go up here, Lebanon Church Road, 885, down into Clareton, and find another yeah. way. Yes, exactly. And everything will be okay. Everything will work out great. To the east, the Parkway East to be exact, look for the inbound ramp to the Parkway coming from the northbound lanes of Braddock Avenue to be shut down. That's overnights through June 9th. Going into town. Wow. How big a pain is that? Yeah. That's in between the whole city. How are we going to get downtown? And to the west, Green Tree Road from Cochrane Road to McMonagall. Workers are repaving and replacing water mains in the area. Look for lane closures during the day from 9 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. On a scale from 1 to 10, this construction project ranks high on the pain in the rear scale. Oh, maybe. Maybe a seven because I come down this way a lot. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. But I, I'm glad you told me because I'll, I can take an alternative route and come out in the same way. The longer the summer continues, the more construction projects will pop up. I'm Shannon Perrine, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. And don't forget you can keep up with construction at WTAE.com. Visit our traffic page for a list of the routes you want to avoid and a live look at PennDOT's traffic cameras.